So today it's Battlefield 1 time and we've got two things going on in this video. First of all, we're going for photorealism. Settings are cranked as far as I can possibly push them and maintain a good frame rate at the same time. So we're on the ultra preset with 175% resolution scale. And Battlefield 1 does actually look a little bit real when you've got the settings this high. And then secondly, this video today is sponsored by Logitech G and their wireless peripherals. The team at Logitech sent me over a G Pro wireless mouse, a G915 Lightspeed tactile keyboard, and their PowerPlay wireless charging mat as well. This means my entire peripheral setup is now wireless, and because of the light speed technology that Logitech uses, there's no discernible difference between this and wired options of the peripherals. I get complete freedom of movement with the G-Pro wireless, which is also charged wirelessly by the PowerPlay mat, and then the G915 keyboard, well that's just a treat for me. It uses a really sleek design and it's got shorter travel on the mechanical keys and that keeps things a little bit quieter when gaming which I prefer. And it's got a bunch of programmable G keys on the side as well for quick functions. Click the link at the top of the description if you want to learn more about these peripherals. It'll take you over to the Logitech G website. Okay then, down to business. First of all, this photorealism thing. Where am I being shot from? Excuse me. I'm trying to do a live commentary here. <laughs> this photorealism thing. I mean, this is what drew my attention to it when I cranked the settings. These rocks. They look real. I mean, yes, you can tell we're in a video game. But, like, that looks incredible. And then if you look down here, you've got all these rocks. They could be real. That's, that, that's out of place. That's not supposed to be there. Can we move it? No, we can't move it. But, like... The way this has all been put together, the attention to detail with these rocks and the sand, everything here, like, it's incredible. And this, this map specifically made me think of it, Sinai Desert. It's a beautiful location anyway, but I think they've done an incredible job here. Oh, Flame Boy! I can spot him. I don't have a, um, a bayonet on this, this Lee Enfield. This is the uh, Lawrence of Arabia one because it's got the etching on the side. Like a golden sniper, basically. Uh oh, I'm gonna get shot in the butt. I've had to troop back a little bit here because uh, the enemy were threatening to take the B objective, which, of course, we don't want them to take. There we go. Oh, another one. Nice. Well, that's a hit. This counts as kill. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe a little bit too hot to poke my head around the corner there. And I'm in it. Got a grenade. That'll do. Not sure if I'm going to get any hits with that grenade, but there is a guy further back again. Oh, he's right here! How am I not getting these hits? There we go. Oh, headshot. Nearly a third. Hit again. There we go. Another kill. <laughs> I know it's kind of me farming a little bit here, but um, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. There we go. Defending from the other side. It's a hit. Go on, poke your head up. Oh, there he is. Ouch, 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 ouch. Run away, run away. Oh. Hit. No. Come on. Where's he gone? There's a grenade there. Headshot. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Oh, this is brilliant. Just farming kills here. Is that what Lawrence of Arabia did in the real war? Did he farm kills as well? <laughs> oh, that looked like a C4 maybe. Another headshot or another kill at least. Is there a sniper further? Oh, finally we're down. He whipped out his BAR and I was done. We are somewhat penned in here. Oh, hang on. Hello. The big boys here. <laughs> what are the plane physics in this game, man? What are the plane physics? If I can do any damage whatsoever, I will. Just use these K bullets on uh, this tanky boy over here. 
Even if I could do 25 damage to the tank, it's fine. Makes it go away. I've done my job. It did make it go away. Good. Now, I wonder if we can flank round. Let me just let me put that up there. And hopefully the enemy... Oh, it came all the way down anyway. There's a... There's a horseman up there. <laughs> oh, no, the tank! Uh, they're going to get me! Nah, ha, ha! Not so smart, are you? Okay, I, I can't do anything to it now. I'm all done. I'm all finished. There's two players. No, he's seen me. He's seen me. Shh. I'm not here. Shh. Uh, I think he may still be there, but a little bit further back. Oh, no, he got blown up. Maybe, or is that a tank shell? I don't know if he did get blown up. I can't tell. Let's move over here for a bit of safety. No, leave me alone. There we go. That's what you get. That's what you get. Don't mess with me. Oh, thank you very much. That was nice of you. Wow, look at this. It looks incredible. This is insane. Oh, wait. Are they all down here? Or are we capturing it back? I, I can't be sure. But I don't think they're actually down here. Thing is, in this game, like, parachuting can be a little bit lethal. Oh, God. I'm going to have to try it. Okay, it kind of worked. I'm being shot from behind, I think. Well, <laughs> dealt with him. <laughs> At any point, by the way, if you think you can hear my keyboard through my microphone, I'd be, uh, I'd be interested to know because not once since I've started using this keyboard and doing more live commentaries on the channel have I been able to hear the clickiness of this keyboard because I think it's been built and designed so that it doesn't make as much noise because it's more low profile. This G915 is really, really good. I like it. Okay, switching tactics a little bit here. We're going SMG time. And this will probably highlight to you the G Pro Wireless. I've recently changed my uh, sensitivity in games. I'm now running at 400 DPI and at about 11 or 12% in game sensitivity, which means, well, I have to move the mouse a bit more in order to make the same sort of movements I used to be able to make. And, um, but it also means I can be more precise when I'm shooting people. And uh, hopefully. It will also highlight the fact that because there's no wire attached to this mouse, it doesn't make any difference. Did somebody just die here? Oh, I got so scared then. I was just shooting my own friend. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, we got him. Are they hide Are they hiding in this little hole? Oh, that was cheeky. That is a funny way to die. Funny way to die. How did I not need a parachute? And how did you not kill me? A sentry kit is available near your location. What was that? Was that like a, a weird death scream after his death? What happened there? That was a bit weird. There's an enemy over here. Let's see if we can go get him. My health is pretty low right now. That's one. And that's two. I got lucky there. I definitely got lucky there. There we go. Vehicle destroyed. Headshot there. I reckon they're probably going to try and storm this building in a minute. There's a lot of death. Wish I didn't have to have this gas grenade on, but I, I kind of do. We are taking the objective, though. And that's the main thing. And now we're losing it again. That's not good. Oh, more gas. Come on. They're down. And now there's flames as well and an anti-tank grenade. What are they? The, the spam. The spam. Just please. <laughs> please. This game looks incredible. It actually does look photorealistic in the background. And some of the assets are just incredible. I'm in awe of this game every time I play it, especially with settings cranked. If I could do that every time, I would, but it's just not quite viable. I can hear footsteps somewhere. Oh, he's dead. He's dead now. I'm being deaded. And that's it. End of round. 
So, there you go. Some more Battlefield 1, beautiful Battlefield 1 gameplay, I should say, and some awesome peripherals from Logitech G. The complete freedom of movement on the G Pro wireless mouse is awesome. It's probably the highlight of all the peripherals here. And once you realize there's literally no discernible difference to using a wired mouse, well, that completely changes the game. Once again, click that link at the top of the description to learn more about these Logitech G products. And a big thanks to Logitech for sponsoring this video. And a big thanks to you guys for watching today. I'll catch you all in the next one.